iOS 26 is finally here and it is packed with new features and changes. And of course, the all new design makes this a great update. There are a lot of new features and changes with this update. So in today's video, I will show you some really cool new features that you must enable once you have updated your device to the new iOS 26. Now, another thing you must do is hit that subscribe button as most of you guys are still not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you find them helpful subscribe to the channel it really helps out a lot now we're starting with a lock screen as you probably know we have a brand new lock screen on ios 26 which looks amazing now of course you want your lock screen to look something like this and not just have the small clock and look identical to the ios 18 lock screen so here are the features that i think you must do and must use here on the lock screen first of all the big clock you have to do that it looks absolutely amazing and what i suggest you do is have a wallpaper with the depth effect like this one it makes it look really really cool and make sure that you have the three dots right here and you have the depth effect enabled and not like this so if you enable the depth effect you can see how much better that is now one really cool new feature that apple has added to ios 26 on the lock screen is the new spatial scene so if you enable it it will generate it right here and then you will have this really cool 3d effect on the lock screen of your device you can see how cool that is it is actually really awesome now what's really cool is that you can actually try this feature without having to create a lock screen first because of course you will have to go through the lock screen process and make a ton of lock screens to maybe just find the picture that you actually want so what you need to do is head on to the photos app and once you go to your photos app just head on and go to your wallpapers or whatever picture you want to use as a wallpaper for your device and it will basically show you whether the spatial scene is actually supported for that picture or wallpaper you simply open one of them and once it's supported you will see this little button right here you tap on it and it will generate the spatial scene as you can see it right there and you can basically just try it out without first having to set it as a wallpaper so you can see the effect right there it is actually working and you don't need to actually even use it as a wallpaper before actually trying the feature now when talking about spatial scenes which is that cool effect that you saw right there here's another feature you must enable photos on your home screen the widgets from the photos app will actually display pictures with that same effect even on the home screen so go ahead and add the widget from the photos you can choose your album right there and you will have that spatial scene effect right on your home screen now another widget you must try and have on your home screen with iOS 26 if you use Apple Music is the new one for the pins where it allows you to basically pin your favorite music right on your home screen via the home screen widget. These are new widgets that have been added to iOS 26 with the music app and now you can have your favorite music pinned right there on your home screen. Now, of course, you will have to try the new customization features, especially a couple of those that have been added with the RC version of iOS 26, which is actually really cool. So tap the edit button and go to customize. And here, if you're on iOS 26, you must enable the clear icons. They just look really, really cool. They give you a really nice look to your wallpaper on the home screen. And of course, they look way different from iOS 18. And here are a couple of features that I suggest to use if you want to go with the tinted icons so as you can see if i just tap right there what it will do is that it automatically picks a color from the wallpaper and tint the icons but what you can do which is really cool is that now you can choose the color of your iphone to be used as the tint for your icons not just that you will also be able to choose the color of the case if you have a case on your iphone it will actually choose the color of the case as the tint for the icons that you have on your home screen so go ahead enable the new clear icons or the tinted icons they look much much better now with ios 26 apple has added a cool new feature that you must try on the iMessage app backgrounds for iMessage you can now have backgrounds on your conversation as you can see it right here I have a background there and what's really cool is that even if you have like a picture that someone has sent you 
on iMessage on a conversation, you can actually go ahead and use it as a background if you want to, which is really, really cool. So if we go to this one, you can see we can go ahead and set this as a background. Now, when you go to a conversation, you simply tap at the top where the, the con contact is, the contact icon, and from here, you will have your background. So you can choose none or just pick any photo you want. You can use image playground to actually generate a background. You will have a few different ones right here that are preset or of course, choose any of your photos. And then you will have suggestions here from your photos. You can just go ahead and pick any of the suggestions. It shows your preview right here. You can even add the effect. And once you're done with that, you will have a new background for your conversations. Now, another feature that I suggest you enable on your iOS 26 device are the pins for the photos app. This is a must have in my opinion. So you can see right here, we have the photos app and then I have the pin section right here. So if I just go to edit right here, I can just choose whatever I want and add it at the pin section. This makes it for me very easy to find the pictures that I want. I can have any album or any collection I want as pinned right here. And then of course, from here, I will be able to quickly find it. Now, as you can see, I have them down here because it's much easier for me, for me to use them and actually open them while, I, while I'm using my device with one hand. But if you want, you can just tap right there and tap on reorder and it will show you everything that you have right here. And I can just go ahead and reorder and place the pin at the top right there, which is actually super, super useful. Another feature you must enable on iOS 26 if you're using Apple Music is the new auto mix feature. Now this one is super cool. You head onto your settings, go to music, and then you will have song transitions. So you enable it right here and you get a couple of options. The crossfade, which has been here before, but now you also get auto mix. This is a pretty cool feature. I don't use Apple Music personally, but a lot of users are reporting this being a great feature. So go ahead and enable Enable it once you have your device updated to the new iOS 26. It is actually pretty cool. Now, another feature you must enable if you use CarPlay on your car, then you must enable this one. Head on to your settings, go under general, and here we'll have a new section for screen capture. Go here and enable CarPlay screenshots. So, this allows you to actually take screenshots from your car's display screen. It is pretty cool anytime you need a screenshot there, maybe like a navigation, something like that. You wanna take a screenshot of a place, of a map or something like that. You can now go ahead and take screenshots right on the car with CarPlay. And last but not least, another feature you wanna enable on iOS 26 is the new battery feature. So head on to the battery section and then go to power mode. You will have adaptive power right here. Now adaptive power is this new feature that Apple has added to iOS 26, where it basically manages the battery, the usage of your battery. So you can see right here it says, when battery usage is higher than usual, iPhone can extend battery life by making performance adjustments. So you enable it right here and you will also have this button to enable adaptive power notification. So what happens is that adaptive power will work automatically in the background, but once it starts working, you don't know whether it's enabled or not. By having these notifications enabled, it will send you a notification any time that it actually starts working in the background. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are some pretty cool new features on iOS 26 that I suggest you go ahead and enable once you have updated your device. That is it. Thank you guys for watching. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.